So this is a question that's probably been asked in the back of people's heads watching my streams when I was uh, using a PS3 for PS1 and PS2 games. It's like, why don't you just emulate if you have an Xbox that's capable of using dev mode? And I have one right here. This is my Series X. I mean, you can bounce in and out of dev mode no problem with no penalty if you pay the fee for it, which is 20 bucks, not that bad. But the problem with dev mode for emulators and stuff like that where you're going to invest time in a game and want to pick it back up later, like RPGs and such, games where you can just pick up and play whatever, like games that don't require uh, you to like progress or anything would be perfectly fine for this. But again, games with progression, there is a huge problem with dev mode. If I go over here and say I want to reboot back into retail mode to do something that requires retail mode, like an actual Xbox game, uh, YouTube, because this is my media center for the most part, I go to leave dev mode and you will see this right here, which is very intimidating because currently it is very much a loaded gun at the moment. If I hit the A button one more time, everything I have in dev mode is gone. My emulators, my side-loaded content, everything is gone if I hit OK right now. I have to manually hit the up button, deselect that checkbox, and then hit OK, and it'll jump right back into retail mode, just like this. And that's the problem with dev mode for emulators. You have to be really careful because one false move and everything you have loaded on this console is gone. And there's nothing you can do about it because, as far as I know, there is no setting to change the behavior of that checkbox. I've looked for it. I've Googled for it. There's nothing. So, you have to be really careful and make damn sure you do not have that checkbox checked or all your stuff is gone. And that's why I like using purpose-built hardware for this because there isn't something as dumb as that because dev mode is not intended for this kind of stuff. Dev mode is intended for actual software testing and just uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of why I have real hardware for this stuff and not just emulators in dev mode. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video and I'll see you guys later.